guys and dolls, what is up? If you're new to my channel, what is my intro? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. If you're an oldie moldy, welcome back. I have not filmed in a decade. I know you guys have been seeing content from me, but those are all pre-filmed. I have a vlog to put up. I haven't gotten around to it. This is going to be a Target haul. I'm going to put the Target haul first, and then I'm going to do the vlog behind it. I think that might happen. If it doesn't, you'll just see the haul. You'll know. I will just put haul in the in the title of the video and not put vlog. Usually I'll do haul and vlog and I'll, you know, I'll juice up the title. But if you just see haul, it's because I decided to make this a standalone video. I am so excited. I found everything that I wanted. This Target is the best. My sister's Target is the best because they always have all the new things that I'm looking for. All of the spring scents and delectable delights are abounding. And so I was able to just pick up some of the, some tried and true staples and then some stuff that um, I really wanted to try that was new. And so this is a tried and true staple. It is the Aveeno Calm Restore Redness Relief. This is my third time purchasing this. It is so wonderful. I think when I gave a review of this, I said that it was kind of like a peppery smell. And that's not a bad thing. What the scent is, it's earthy. It's earthy oats. That's what it, it smells like to me. It smells like earthiness, like oats. And it says it's fragrance free. And I don't think that this would bother anyone who has scent sensitivities um, because it's not a perfume scent. It's not rose. It's not a peach scent. It's not, you know, it's, it's just an earthy scent like wheat or oats. I mean, obviously it has wheats. It has a little wheat thing here. That looks like wheat. Is it wheat? I don't know. I don't know. It has a calming fever few nourishing oat formula. Why does it look like wheat to me? I don't know. Maybe that's what oats look like. I have no idea. But anyway, I love this stuff and it works and it reduces the redness and the horribleness that goes on right in here. I always have a lot of redness in here and this tames it and makes it a little better. Does it take it away? No, it just minimizes it. So I love this. I think it's amazing and yeah. It's not completely scent free though. One of the things that I picked up again was the EOS Evolution of Smooth Pomegranate and Raspberry. I got this because it was three dollars and some change. And I really I like this one, but I like the cream one better. But I just didn't want to pay seven dollars for a shaving gel because even though it works better, I'm trying to save money right now. So I opted for something a little cheaper. And I only use this underneath my underarms, so I don't need something very, you know pricey i do like the cream i think it's cream O. am not sure but it's one that i've that i've used quite a bit i switch between that one and this one depending on how my budget looks so i got the pomegranate raspberry this smells so so good all of the scents that i got today are headed into the spring vibe the spring environment the essence of springiness um Kind of a bummer for me is that I can't wear perfume anymore. Um, maybe once in a blue moon, but I can't really wear it the way that I used to when I was younger. I kind of just have to stick to stuff that is, I don't know, like I can wear, there is one perfume that I can wear from Lush that I can actually wear, but I can't really wear anything like the body sprays from Bath and Body Works, that's a no-go. Perfume, that's a no-go. Uh, I could still wear scented deodorant, scented um, body scrubs, scented shower gels, stuff like that. I just can't wear perfume anymore because my asthma has just gotten worse over the years. One of the things that I'm super excited though is the Tree Hut Watermelon Foaming Gel Wash. I can't wear anything that smells floral. I hate floral scents anyway. That's just not my jam. But this is new out on the market and I'm so excited to see this. And it says it has a hydrating oil complex, avocado, kiwi, and orange oils, contains antioxidants and moisturizing properties. I love Tree Hut. I have been using Tree Hut products for years and years. Um, their Shea Sugar Scrubs, oh, so good, so good, I can't wait. You get the spring vibe, you get the pomegranate raspberry, you get the watermelon body wash. 
And you get the peach, the brand new out on the market, peach sorbet, shea sugar, sugar scrub. I need this for my feet. My feet get very dry, even though they're covered all the time. Like I wear socks and slippers all the time, but my feet kind of get a little bit of eczema, very dry. And you would think that this would be counterproductive. Like it wouldn't, like don't use um, a sugar scrub on your feet. This actually really exfoliates them, gets off all the dry skin, gets off all the like little minor calluses. Cause even though I wear socks and slippers all the time, my feet are still a little bit dry on the bottom. So it kind of just smooths it out, scrubs my feet really well, and just gets off all of like the dead skin. Love this. I use this every day in the shower. I've been using this for days, for years and years, not days and days, years and years. And I love how they always come out with the seasonal scents. So usually they have the Christmas scents, which could be like eggnog or peppermint. Then they have the fall scents, which could be, you know, pumpkin spice. And then they have like the spring scents. And I love these. My favorite scent above all else is the cotton candy, strawberry, and then third would be watermelon. The peach sorbet is pretty phenomenal. It smells really good. I didn't like the pineapple, but... And I didn't, the papaya one, oh my gosh, the papaya one smelled so good. So you can get these at Target or Ulta. And I absolutely love, I love this. And once a week, I use it on my arms. I just use it on my arms. I use it on my neck. Get rid of some of the dead skin, you know, that accumulates on us. This smells so freaking good. It smells so good. I love this. I'm so happy for this. And then I, I'm just... The watermelon and the peach are gonna smell so good together. It's just gonna meld and create a magical unicorn standing in the field of con candy bliss kind of atmosphere. Mm. Then I got these and my sister said that they will fit me. These are the high rise 90s relaxed straight, whatever that means, wild fable pants in a size 12. I am never a size 12 in Target jeans. I'm just, just, I'm not. I'm wearing leggings today, and the reason why I look put, put together today is because I have to go pick up the boys and TMI, but I didn't shower for two days, and I look like hell in a handbasket because Magnus was sick, Talon was not. I stayed home taking care of Magnus. I didn't have to go pick up Talon from school. Um, my sister was picking up Talon from school, and I was staying home with Magnus. So I looked horrible and I was like, you know what? I'm going to get dressed up. I'm going to put my makeup on. I'm going to look cute. So I'm wearing leggings today and you're like, where is this going? I'm wearing leggings and I tried these pants on with my leggings and I couldn't button them. I think though that they will fit me if I don't have my leggings on, but I did say the receipt. Aren't these beautiful? I looked online and I saw these sold out everywhere couldn't find them any place anyhow and this was like a couple weeks ago looked online again they popped up and i was like but they said you know no shipping no delivery nothing they're out of stock everywhere i got to the target today and i'm just looking around randomly i'm looking for this strawberry shortcake shirt in case you're wondering um so i'm just looking around randomly I see these hanging up and I'm like, those are the pants of my dreams. So I picked them up. I love the sunflower right there. I love that the fact that they're front to back design. So this is the back and then this is the front. And I just love them. I don't know what I'm gonna wear them with. I don't know how I'm gonna style them. Um, I think I have an idea, but these are so beautiful, so stinking. I just love these. I hope that they fit when I try them on without my leggings. Uh, prayers to Jesus because I don't know. But I do have the receipt and um, we'll see how that goes. So anywho, any hint for like making my homemade meatballs, even though my homemade meatballs are the bomb.com. It has been a week. I have been just, I feel like I'm overworked. And I don't say that in a bad way, like I mean taken advantage of or anything. I say that because... Having a sick kid at home is a lot. And having a sick kid at home, when I'm sick, I'm sick. I'm barely feeling better. I'm barely feeling back to life. I've had a sore throat for a couple weeks now. Um, I haven't been feeling myself at all. 
So having to take care of other people when you're not feeling good is just, ugh, it's a lot. It's a lot. So anywho, any hey, I will talk to you another day. I'll see about, you'll know what the title if I put the vlog in at the end. That's all I can tell you. I love you guys so, so much. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today. Um, this shirt, this kitty cat dress, I haven't worn this dress before, has pockets and black leggings, of course. People always ask me why I wear black leggings. These are fleece lined. The reason why I wear black leggings is because it kind of neutralizes the whole colorful look. That's kind of halfway true. The other reason is I think it looks good. I don't want, I don't like colored tights. I think these match everything and then it also matches my black sneakers and the way that i save money is that i don't buy a lot of shoes i have these black shoes i have these black shoes i have my black doc martens i have two colorful shoes the red and the pink and then i have these ones but i kind of save money by not buying a lot of shoes because you know some people will buy the purples and the pinks to match like different outfits and the greens because they make green vans and they make purple vans and they make pink vans well vans are expensive they're about 75 dollars so i don't feel it necessary to have a whole bunch of shoes just to um color coordinate my outfits so having black tights with everything and then black sneakers really just makes it kind of economical and makes it um just really easy to match anything so from the bottom, it's black, and from the top, it's colorful, if that makes any sense at all. But that's kind of why I do that. And the reason why I wear tights all the time is because I have eczema on my legs, and I have scars. So my legs are scarred from eczema. So, you know, I got to find different ways to do things, so I wear tights and sneakers. And uh, so, yeah, I'm going to hop in the shower right now. Yes, I realize my bangs are a hot mess, but I don't care. I'm wearing a dress and these little earrings right here and let me turn it around okay i'm kind of in a hurry i gotta go get my face cream from target so i'm just wearing like a granny sweater this dress has pockets leggings socks and it just kind of looks like that i might scrunch the socks down a little bit i think i look fine um i like what i'm wearing actually it's really cute so let me come in a little closer and there we go I'll see you guys in so a little I think bit. I look at the toys. I'm kind of over toys though right now. I've been really revamping my wardrobe. So I have totally been redoing my whole entire wardrobe. And I haven't been spending on toys. I'd rather spend on me. That's cute. I like that. Very cute. Um, just wanted to see if anything was new pretty demolished in here. What's groovy, babe? That's Cosmic Nova. That's groovy, babe. I've seen these before. Um, lots of Monster High. They have a whole section of Monster High. More than I've ever seen. But I need to go get my face cream. That's really cute, but I'm not willing to pay $17.99. Okay, so I'm getting chocolate chip blonde roast milk it's so cold i'm gonna blow away i'm gonna go pick up the boys i have some pictures i want to add to instagram edit a vlog and all that good stuff so let's get to getting i'm back in the saddle again i need more lipstick the wind look how windy it is oh now it's not going oh, i can't show you over there but it was really windy Oh look, there you go. Did you see that? It's really windy. Yeah, super windy. But it was really gusting a while ago. Can you hear it? I don't know if you could hear it. I don't know. Anyway, I'm literally gonna blow away, like straight up. Um, look at my hair. Oh my God. It's cold out here. Yeah, I'm gonna blow away. It's so freaking cold. 
Oh, should have done something about this. Changed my clothes because I'm cooking. So let me show you. I still have my makeup on. Let me show you what I'm making. So just my cheesy garlic bread. You know that I love that. Um, I've got the sauce in here, which is pre-made meatballs. I used, um, I used pre-made meatballs because I just did not feel like cooking. Yes, you got a view of the trash can. Do I care? Not really. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, and the sauce is in there. I gotta spool around the spaghetti to make sure it gets evenly cooked. And that should be done in a little bit. Exciting. What is up guys? I am ending the vlog. I just washed a doll, uh, doll's hair. That always sounds weird, doll's hair. I just washed my doll's hair. Anywho, any hair, I love you guys so, so much. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. I had a really good time just checking in with my best friend, Jasmine, who I've known for like 10 plus years, 11 years, 12 years. She is the really Odilio and yeah, really love that girl. So, I've met some really amazing people on social media. We may never have met in real life, but we've exchanged cards and gifts and we talk to each other and it's just, social media is a really great way for me to communicate with people because I'm pretty isolated. I don't have that many friends in real life. I have my sister, I have my parents, I have my nephews. Um, and then I have the people that I met on social media. And is it kind of parasocial? I don't think so. I know what these people look like. I see them in videos. I've talked to them. I mean, we're not catfishing each other. We've seen each other. We've FaceTimed. We've, you know, YouTube videos. I. It's, it's a really nice way to connect with people. I'm tired. And I may not share everything on social media, but I do share a few things with my close, my closest friends on here. So I took off my glasses because my eyes are just watery and they need to rest. I need to take my makeup off. And uh, yeah, so hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you so much.